What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. And in this video, I want to talk about that it's looking very, very likely that the Batman film, the 2021 Batman movie, uh, will end up being delayed. Now, this honestly truly sucks. And this is something that, to be honest with you guys, I have been checking every single day because I do feel or I, I have felt that like things were going to happen in regards to this movie. This is a movie that was obviously further out. OK, and so recently, obviously, we've seen basically every single movie releasing uh, over the next couple months or that we're supposed to uh, been pushed and what is that now done well now we're seeing things like with Disney and other just uh, film companies in general they're moving further out movies even further so we had movies like Fast 9 we had uh, Wonder Woman get pushed we had movies again like in the in the moment like right now being pushed but then we started to see okay obviously well Black Widow takes the Eternal spot Eternals takes the next Marvel movie the next Marvel movie takes the next one everything kind of gets pushed uh, so Sony did that with a lot of their films as well, like Morbius and things like that. And again, so I was checking because I was like, all right, well, Batman is one that obviously could be in some very, very deep trouble. And you have to look at films as well that were filming during this fi uh, movies that were done and that could be edited I feel like they are the least affected in fact James Gunn recently said over the last couple days that as uh, of you know what he knows uh, Suicide Squad the Suicide Squad is still on track which is supposed to come out next year I believe in July because it's going to go Batman and then the Suicide Squad so that movie to his knowledge is not delayed and it's a little bit less likely that it would be delayed right because it's already done filming they finished right before um, this all happened we, we can't say obviously the words but finished right before it all happened and now they're editing it uh, and with the Batman movie Matt Reeves has come out and said there's only 25% that was actually filmed we still had another 75% left they were going to go to Liverpool and then come back to London uh, to finish filming and uh, they believe that they won't be able to film until at the very very earliest uh, early May so that's not all that far off but still even if they could start let's say like May uh, 6 7 they right around actually two months since it was shut down that is still losing two months and that is a big if that's only if they can do it if not maybe it goes to late May maybe it goes to earlier June I would imagine it would become a little bit better to do that then but you also look at some more alarming things going on in the entertainment world where like like a lot of Marvel properties aren't going to film until like September, like all these TV shows, all this stuff. They've shut down production on everything until possibly September. Now, that, can they bring that back earlier? I believe they can. I believe that if things start to settle down and when they start to settle down, a lot of these really far out projections, they'll start to be they'll, you know, brought back. Not movies, not movies that were pushed like a year when really I don't think they needed to have been. Um, they're not going to get pushed back, but at least a uh, uh, filming stuff which is the most important. So really what we have is a two to three month uh, delay in this Batman movie. Now movies have faced delays before. Uh, actually, uh, oftentimes that has happened. Sometimes it happens in like dire situations. We talked about Pirates of the Caribbean uh, a lot on this uh, channel and Johnny Depp actually something with like his wrist or his hand. I think he like broke his hand during the filming of Pirates 5 so they had to delay it but they were able to film other scenes during it so they didn't lose all that much time although they did lose time and I think that movie Movie may have been pushed a little bit from when it was supposed to come out. So you have all of, you know, it does happen, but not something like this. They literally cannot do anything for two to three months. Everybody is saying it. it's not confirmed. Nobody has said it is going to be delayed. Like you haven't seen from Warner Bros. say it. You haven't seen it is going to be delayed. You haven't seen that it is delayed. But uh, according to a lot of different people, it's kind of just a matter of when, of when do they drop the ball and say, all right, we have to look at all of these DC movies, and we may have to move a bunch of them. Now, Screen Rant, which is where I saw a couple articles from, again, talking about the 25%, talking about Matt Reeves' comment, uh, they suggested a 2022. God, God, I hope they don't push it back an entire year. It made me really, you know, upset, like, emotionally when Fast 9 got delayed. It's, it's, a, it's a fan favorite. I know a lot of people maybe don't agree with that, and that's totally cool, but you'll, you'll see where I'm coming from. That film franchise means a lot to me. Okay, I love that film franchise to death, and... Not only was Fast 9 delayed, which obviously sucked, but it was delayed almost an entire year. It was delayed 11 months till April of 2021. Now, that 
sucks. That is absolutely catastrophic. I mean, not not necessarily, right? But that really does suck uh, to me. And I said that was way too long. Now, there's a lot of other things you have to look at when a film does that. They could have just been ahead of the curve and, and thought, because you look at it now, and movie theaters may not open until June, July, and are people even going to be willing to go? And what movies are even coming out? There's a couple, but they're not all that big. Wonder Woman is probably the first massive one in August, but do they move again? Because maybe they don't feel comfortable coming out right when everything opens back up because maybe not a lot of people are going to go to the theaters. It's it's a it's a risk reward. They definitely have that scenario going for them or going against them depending on how you look at it. But maybe Fast 9 was right to do that. But when you have a movie like The Batman, uh you're really losing like 2 months, maybe 3, maybe 4. So couldn't the movie just be delayed? I know it doesn't. I, I get it. Okay, I don't want people like call me out saying I have no idea what I'm talking about. I understand that's not how it works. I understand that just because you lose, say, a month in the production doesn't necessarily translate to it literally moves an entire month. And you have to think of a lot of different other things, too, like the film release schedule, and you don't want your film going up against another film uh, of, like, a, a, an opposing brand or, you know, like a competition. But you also don't want it too close to your own film. So Warner Bros. has to look at it, and they can't put two Warner Bros. films directly next to each other, which actually would happen because of the Suicide Squad. So you have to you have to think about all that stuff. So does that make them super scared and say, you know what? We liked June. I think it was going to be, what, June 25th? It was going to be really, really late June uh, of 2021. They may say, you know what? We really liked that time. We're just going to push an entire year. We're going to do June 24th or 26th, one of those days, uh, of 2022. How does that sound? And then we'll all say, why? Why? And actually, the Arkham community should be crying about it as well because all the people saying that they wanted the Batman movie to line up with the Batman game, well, if the, if the movie gets delayed another full year to 2022, what does that mean? about the game obviously I, I'm kind of joking about that but no truly it would it would suck because I think what hurts the most and I, I get it this video isn't entirely about Batman but it's more it's it's me getting my thoughts out I don't want it to be delayed I if you're asking me though do I think it's gonna be delayed I actually do I really do think they're gonna push it I think that you normally want filming done by like now. It probably would have been just about wrapping up right now. And instead, they're going to really, they're going to have to go into like overtime here where if they want it to come out on time, say they start, you know, sometime in May, well, you got to finish it as quickly as humanly possible because then you got to give the post production, you know, time to do it. And I just don't think by the time it's done, say it's it's middle to end of June, I don't think that's enough time. You have to do reshoots. And, and at the end of the day, also, it's it's going to be a big film. It's going to be, and, it, and not just a big film, it's a very important film for Warner Bros. that you don't want to rush. You want it to be, you can't just throw it out there in like non great condition and say, here you go, here's the best we could do. While, you know, maybe some people would respect that, being like, hey, at least you're giving us a movie in a time when all these movies are getting delayed. I mean, the reality is, by the time next year comes, by the time June of 2021 comes, there will be more movies out. Okay, there will have been films that have come out, and I think we'll all kind of go back to the approach of like, all right, you got to just take your time. You don't want to give us a subpar product. This is supposed to be a huge film, a very important film, so you need to take your time. So if that means delaying it, you have to delay it. But like I was saying, it, it does suck, and it sucks more for those films. I think as we've seen, again, the past couple uh, weeks, I was going to say the past couple months, but if you could believe it, it's only really been like a month, a month and a week really since all this started. Uh, and uh, Even when like a lot of these films stopped production, it's only been around like exactly one month, uh, You know, give or take a couple days but what sucks is yes we've seen Fast 9 we've seen Wonder Woman we've seen Spongebob I know a lot of people probably care about Spongebob Spongebob got pushed all I mean r really Wonder Woman got pushed Black Widow all of these movies have been moved okay and that all sucks and I think that that does like impact us because we were expecting them immediately but in a different way I think it actually impacts me more like I don't I, I don't like to see it more than what we're seeing now I don't like to see future movies be pushed because it's kind of like well those movies were far enough away where you have that big lead up to it and it doesn't necessarily need to be impacted by all this stuff going on whereas the movies now 
like you can kind of expect like okay it makes a lot of sense for them to be delayed and hopefully most of them are delayed only in short term right uh, a quiet place part two like that's supposed to come out in september again wonder woman only got moved two months now does it get moved a couple more months maybe but it's not that bad uh black widow gets moved from may to november it's not atrocious right so you have like you know what i mean like you have that situation where it's like well we were expecting those movies and it sucks that they're delayed but they're not delayed all that much and we kind of expected that besides fast nine fast nine is that outlier where i guess only for me depending on who's watching i was expecting it right now i wanted it right now and then the fact that it gets delayed 11 months that is a vi- i mean you might as well it might as well have been a movie that was supposed to originally release in april of 2021 you know what i mean so when i see films like batman and really what we're going to start seeing too which sucks is any movie that was supposed to get filming we already have seen that uncharted i know maybe not everybody's favorite but uncharted obviously was supposed to come out i mean it was supposed to come out like a thousand times but that was supposed to come out uh in march and now that's been delayed i think till october october 5th october 8th of 2021 so that was delayed like six seven eight months from you know the the final date they had set because they were literally supposed to start filming the week that really it started to break out right so that that sucks and i think we're we're going to start seeing that a whole lot more. The only films that really, at this point, because even 2021 films are getting affected, Batman, Uncharted, and many, many others, the only films I think are really not getting affected, and this also goes to the TV industry too, which sucks, or not just TV, but like uh, Disney Plus, like streaming services, it affects them too, right? Because they have to film as well, and like we talked about, Disney's going to have some troubles. The only films I think it's not going to affect is the films in like pre-production, films that are getting off and running. Again, we talk about Pi Pirates here. Pirates is one that I think is relatively safe. Movies that aren't off the ground yet are really the ones I think that are the most safe during right now because they weren't. You could do anything that they're doing from home. You, you know, obviously, once it gets really close to making the movie, you got to get out there. You got to get everything set up. But besides that, like the the step before that, you don't have to be in groups of people right next to each other, right? So those films are largely unaffected. It just sucks. I don't want Batman to be delayed. I truly think it's coming. I honestly feel like it's only a matter of time feel like it could be right around the time that they start filming again do they issue a statement and they say hey like good news is we're filming and we're going to get this thing done and it's going to be really really good and we've had so much time to look over and reconsider thing think about that i mean there's a lot of potential there right we're going to make it even better than we imagined it but so that's the good news bad news we have to delay this thing we need more time clearly and we have to push it to whatever date i think it makes a lot of sense to do it that way you you kind of again like balance the good news with bad news i think that's what makes the most sense so truly i do believe it's only a matter of like a month or two before we we find out that good news is they're back, but bad news is it's it's pushed a little bit. And hopefully it's only pushed a couple months. Hopefully it's pushed until like the fall, even like December. December movies, you know, relatively do okay. So maybe December 2021, like it's not the worst thing in the world. I just don't want it to be pushed an entire year. That's a that's a very long time. We already have to wait a year, and now if they delay it, we'd have to wait two more years to see this thing. And I don't want that. But guys, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think? Are you excited for this film? Do you think it's gonna get delayed? How do you think you know what's going on? is affecting other movies, other shows, other entertainment. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, guys. More Batman film videos uh, coming to you guys in the coming weeks, and I hope to see you all there.